Hi children, today we are going to study lesson number 5, animals and their behavior. So here, animals, how we are the humans like that, here also the animals are like that. So humans, animals are also social animals. Many animals, they are going to live in a group. How we are going to take care of, of our babies like that, we are, animals are also going to take care of their babies. So, why they are going to live in the groups means it gives a sense as well as comfort as well as security for the uh, those baby babies, elephants or baby animals. Okay. So, uh, in order to uh, give them any uh, something danger or to protect from the enemies, they are going to uh, protect in a groups only. Okay. An example for that is here penguins they will be moving in the groups always uh, you have seen children in the cold regions always they will be moving in the groups itself because they feel very warm in the group while they are moving no they will feel very warm that's why they will be moving together so next is animals that live in the groups here elephant group we call it as herd okay in that herd the dominating one will be female one so she is the decision maker and uh, the other females of the herd look after the young ones other females elephants will be there no? they will look after the small elephants okay herd generally consists of 10 to 12 female baby females and baby elephants so here 10 to 12 elephants will be there female one and their babies will also be there so the male elephant what he will do means he will live till 15 years after the age of 15 uh, they will be leaving the family okay so deer and buffaloes they are also going to live in the herds the this herd um, that herd group it is there no it is headed by one leader he will take the responsibility of that group and warn warn them uh, for the danger any sense of danger when they are resting or feeding at that moment they will give the warning so next is lions lions group we call it as pride here the leader will be there the, that is a male leader and he marks its own territory territory is a border so now in lakshman break enta heltivalva adhe tara adu one border na maadkondirutte a border dati aache yaru barbaardu anta other lions are not allowed to that boundary so they look after their cubs while the lioness goes hunting for food so when the female lion you know lioness is there so a lion in madate and hunting for food when it when it will go at that time this cubs means small lion we call it as cubs so they will be looking after themselves so no, other lion will not enter in its territory means a boundary bitu olagade ya lion kuda barbaaddu anta adu note andre kaayta irutte so find out the names of groups of the following animals so you have to find out the groups like um, lion group we call it as pride man elephant group we are going to call it as herd like that here monkey group what you are going to say Monkey group is now troop and the head. Okay. All this group is a pack. Ants, colony. Birds, flock, fleet. Dolphins, pod. Whales, pod, school or gam. Okay. Any one you can write. Next is varied behavior of the animals. Varied behavior of animals means different behavior very means different different behavior of the animals here are different types of animals they show the different types of behavior so we are the people all uh, on the earth so many people will be there so all the people behaviors look same no so all the fingers in your palm, all the in your hand, all the fingers are there. So all are looking in the same size. No, no, it is looking different. So like that, here animals will also, uh, faces will also be different. And 
uh, they show the different behaviors okay like that here the behavior is towards each other uh, and as well as towards human souls so some animals like dog cat hen parrot these are very friendly in nature if we take uh, care of them and they will treat with love they do not run away the, the that's why we call that as pet animals or domestic animals here pet and domestic animals when you tame them tame madre now under control means here saaku prani galu anta en heltiva alva that we call it as taming so when you treat them friendly they will be you uh, they will be loving you as well as they are very useful to us okay so here next is dolphins dolphins are also very friendly animals they are entertain us by showing feats in water feats and the skill okay different skills it show in the water some animals will be in shy nature shy and the mujgara padadu so they disappear when they see us or hear a sound so somewhere we are going the snake or some animals they are uh, if they are available there at that moment they will uh, they will think that someone is coming means they will shy and means they they are going to hide okay wild animals as shy as they are unfamiliar to humans wild animals namge adu familiar iralla adu higo unfamiliar irutte adke adu odogutte athwa it will fear us only it will make us to fear they harm us if we harm or they seem uh, sense danger from us okay if you do anything for those animals they will harm you otherwise they will not do anything so fear of human beings also makes some animals shy rats squirrel lizard bear these are all shy nature animals okay so we must not be cruel to animals cruel andre thumba kruri age irbaddu we should not tease them or hurt them this uh, this cruel behavior of humans it makes the animals to shy andre manushru namge eno madak bartidare anta tilkondu ad enagutte shy nature alli hide aagibudutte okay we must try to be friendly with them and make them comfortable by patting them or playing with them okay in this type this type this these are the types of these are the behavior of the animals next is helpful animals so what are the helpful uh, means uh, with the animals what we are we are ex- expecting the help animals how they are helpful to each other means they like to live in harmony with other animals okay so dogs and puppies they play with the cows crow and crow and um egret sit on the buffaloes and the cows and peck at them to eat away the tiny insects around the ears crow en madute buffalo mel kutkolutte cows mel cows mel kutkolutte and it will peck peck andre kukkadu why it will uh, peck means to eat the insects which are on the buffalo or cows body okay around their ears there will be a tiny insects okay water decups eat insects on the crocodile water decups means means water alli iranta animals in madutte ee tara maartta irutallo kukkta iddange adu crocodile mele kootiranta insects na tinta irutte flower eats the blood sucking leeches from the gums of the crocodile while its mouth is open so here decup and plover are the birds okay uh, they eat the blood sucking uh, leech leeches and they are there rakta hero idu samudra dande iruttalva so rakta hero adu adanna leeches okay next is here different types of ears so different animals have different types of ears and also they are varying in shapes and sizes some have long ears and some are having small or short ears some are not having the ears at all okay example for that is rabbits elephants foxes have big ears 
they can pick up the slightest sound with them so the dogs have big or small ears which can be moved on the direction of the sound where the direct uh, the sound was coming in that direction they will move polar bears have nubs nubs means a small hole will be there for them uh, instead of ears so they can be closed with when in water so when they are going in water in that time it will be closed birds and lizards have two holes instead of external ears in their head means outside we cannot see those ears instead of that two holes will be there uh, in them okay snakes do not have ears they will pick up the vibrations from the ground okay sound in melane adu en madutte kelskolutte they do not have ears can you name the animals other than the above ones that have ears which are having and without ears which animals are having so ears elephant fox pig mouse these are all having the ears without ears reptiles amphibians birds okay so next body coverings all the animals do not have the same kind of body coverings or coats okay the type of body covering an animal it depends on the climatic conditions climatic conditions andre suppose cold irutte one one jagalli inna jagalli thumba hot agirutte aa jagak takkange en madutadu body na badalaiskolutte so animals like polar bear and ant polar bear matte yakandre kon anta helti it has thick fur on their body to keep them warm okay reptiles like snakes crocodile lizards have scales on their body fishes also have the scales okay birds have feathers on their body to help them for flying and also to keep the body warm mammals like cow goat dog have hair on their body porcupines have spikes spikes means mullu aa mullu iradrindra it will protect their from their enemies okay next is honey bee honey bees the bright color and the fragrance of the flower bright color matte aa huvina smell en irutte alva adrindra adu attract agutte so alli he heke agutte andre they it will how it is going to help it means it is going to help in transfer of the pollen grains from one flower to another pollen grains means uh, flower mele ee dasaal huvin mele flower uh, yellow color small pollen uh, pollen grains iruttalva so adu uh, yellow substance yellow color alli irutte so adu en agutte andre dust ge bere bere kade nu hogibittu form aagabodu reproduction nalli okay athwa idu hani bee intra collect maadkolutte collect maadkondu bere huvin mele hakadaga from male to female it reproduces another plant okay so the bees it suck the nectar nectar means it's a juice from the flower uh, it is going to collect in the tongue the it, that we call it as proboscis okay this ne- nectar is found food uh, food to the bee it spits out this nectar in different sections of the hive once it reaches so it is going to spit spit and rest uglad ugiyad okay so in different uh, sp- uh, hive hive and honey bee honey bee to house ge now hives anta helti a hive alli hogi ad spit madadaga enagutte this process it continues till all the sections of the hive are full so ee process continue agirutte elli varugu andre ad hive ella full aguvudu so the bee then seals the hive with the wax a wax the hive in it and the full of wax it will be produced from its body gradually this nectar and yen hendirutalva hive adu it will be full of honey so from the bee hive this honey collectors collects the honey they produce smoke by burning wood dried leaves etc under the bee hive which drives away the bees ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನು ಹೇಗೆ ಅವ್ರು ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಜೇನ್ ಹುಳ ಎಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ವ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಬರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಬೈ ಬರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ದ ವುಡ್ ಡ್ರೈಡ್ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ದ ಹನಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಹೈ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವೆರಿ ಫಾಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಹನಿ ಓಕೆ 
if you read the lesson children if you are having any doubts come with uh, come with your doubts in the next class thank you